So, it's been, uh, maybe, should I say a couple years? I know it's been at least a year and a half since I did a Project Pam video, and I've just been collecting and collecting and collecting makeup and makeup beauty related products, so, um, I thought it was time for a Project Pan. <laughs> I'm just gonna do a Project Ten Pan, but... Yeah, let's, let me show you what I've got, what I want to go through. I'm going to give myself 60 days, two months, um, what would it be? June 9th is today, the, I think today's the 9th. So it's going to be June 9th is going to be my ending day. Um, I'm hoping to get the majority of this stuff done within 30 days and I'm, thinking about doing an update probably every week and a half, two weeks, just since it's such a short um, allotted amount of time. So the first item that I'm excited about finishing is this pink Pretty Impure Body Lotion. This is from Victoria's Secret. I do like the smell of this. What does it say? Um, Jasmine and Pink Lemonade is what this is. It's really sweet. It's really like... I don't know, it's just a really nice scent. It reminds me of something. I'm, I can't quite put my finger on it. But, uh, yeah, I put this on the side of my bed and I put it on my legs every night. So I'm just hoping that eventually this will be done. Not eventually, in the next 60 days, I'm hoping that this will be done. I think I'm about, like, halfway mark, a little above the halfway mark. So, yeah. Moving on, the next one is this anti-aging moisturizer, moisturizer from Alginist, Alginist with Algeronic Acid. I guess that's how you pronounce that. Um, I don't have too much of this, but this was super pricey, and I would just like to finish it so I can move on to some of my other... So I can move on to some of my other face lotions, moisturizers that aren't, that don't seem to be as expensive, but that they still actually seem to be doing something. Like I can't really see anything that that's doing except for moisturizing my skin overnight. I mean, I was hoping since it was so expensive and has like anti-aging properties that it would do something else, but I don't see anything else. Next is this Arcona Toner Tea Bar. This is the Cleanse. AM PM bar and I think they have a couple different kinds of toner bars but this is all that I have left of this little <laughs> this is all that I have left of this guy I have this in my shower and I only use it when I have like a super major breakout episode so I mean it does have a very herbally scent so, um, I think if I go and purchase another one in the next couple months that I think I'll get a different scent. Because it's a nice scent, but I prefer like a fresher smell or a fruity smell or something rather than like herbally scents. I do like it though. It does a very good job. It's, it's very functional. Um, the next item is this Bath & Body Works White Tea and Ginger Bath Shower Gel. Yeah, shower gel. So, I don't have very many shower gels. I'm like a bar soap kind of a girl, so it's pretty difficult for me to go through shower gels. And, yeah, so, <laughs> it, it's, it's really spicy. It's like a spicy, sweet ginger scent. So, um, it's kind of difficult to wear this and then put, like, scented moisturizers, body lotions, or perfumes on afterwards. And so there's just a little bit of a dilemma with that one. That's basically why I want to finish it so bad. The next item, I know it's not marketed as a, like, a makeup setting spray, but I know a lot of people use this for that purpose. Um, this is the MAC Fix Plus. I'm about halfway gone. Mm, this seems to work okay as if I'm using some kind of like a the pigments or something and I want them to be super bright or super concentrated. I'll spray my brush with this and then dip it in and use it 
whatever. I don't really like it as the setting spray or like a facial mist or, you know, I, I'm not a skin refresher. <laughs> that's, that's what it's described as. So hopefully that guy will be gone soon and I won't have to ever purchase that again. I have noticed that <clears throat> I've went through a considerable amount of MAC products the last couple months and I'm excited to throw all my MAC stuff together in my back to MAC bag and I think I'll have enough for like three lipsticks so that'll be a nice reward when I'm done with this project pan I can go and you know get my three free lipsticks that's super awesome the next item this isn't bad or anything I love this scent but I've just had it for probably a year and a half and I have a gazillion perfumes and I don't want any of them to go bad so I want to use up the ones that I have and then my kind of thought process that I'm using from now on is that instead of buying all my perfumes my perfumes in the big size I think purchasing them in the smaller like one ounce perfume bottles is you know a, a better idea because that way I can go through my perfumes they won't turn on me they won't smell like alcohol and I can have a nice variety so anyway <laughs> kind of went off on a tangent there this is the Kat Von D Saint perfume you can kind of see that I'm like down to that mark right there you can see it swishing around in the bottle yeah I, I really do enjoy this perfume and not only does it smell good but my dad bought it for me for my birthday so has sentimental value. The next item is this CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation in the shade 810. This is just a little bit too light for me. I don't have, you know, a lot of product left in here, but there's a decent amount left in here. Um, this is a little bit too light for me. I'm like NW15, NW20. So the shade 810 is just a smidge too light. I mix it in with my Revlon Color Stay. I think it's in the shade 180 Sam Beige. And that is a really nice combination. I love that combination. So it it definitely, with the two mixed, this stays on all day. It doesn't like start breaking down and you know wearing off anywhere on me. So I do like this. I'm actually using this next item. This is the NARS Orgasm Illuminator. I'm actually combining these two with the Revlon Color Stay, but you know, that's that's not in the project pan. Um, this, I'm not quite sure how to use this appropriately. I try to use it as just like a blush because it looks like it's tinted, right? Um, I tried to wear it as a, like an illuminator, a highlighter. That didn't really go over so well. I have found that when I mix it in with the foundation, it does leave like a luminous glow on my skin. So like I have it on today mixed in with the two foundations. I'm wearing this one today with the Revlon one. And so that's it right there. I mean, it's showing up on my hand super awesome as a highlighter, but it doesn't look like that on my skin. It only gets this kind of like glowiness when I mix it in with the foundation. So I don't know what's going on there, but um, hopefully this one will be one of the first ones that I finish up using it that way. The next item is this Nubile Paint Pot from MAC. And mm, I mean... I've never had Painterly or, what is it, Soft Ochre or whatever. I've never had any of the original paint pots that are supposed to be amazing and like the basic ones that everybody raves about. But I did pick this one up at a CCO. That's what the shade looks like right there. It's just a little bit maybe pinker, slightly darker than my skin tone. So it works really well in the eye. It does have like a satin finish. It's not really a matte finish. Um... I have hit pan on it, and <laughs> there's still a lot of product in here. I'm actually nervous about this one. This is the only one that I'm nervous about with not finishing in the two-month mark. Um, I hit the pan on it, and I decided to work on the edges and just go around the edges. So there's a big circle in the middle, and then there's a dent on this side right there. Can you see that? And then I'm just going to work my way around the rest of the edge. So... Yeah, there is a lot of product in here. I think I think I've had this for two years. I think it's just past the two year mark. I think I got it in like February two years ago. So 
And then finally, the last item is this Clinique Chubby Stick Moisturizing Lip Color Balm in the shade number 6 Whoppin' Watermelon. Um, this is what this guy looks like. This is all that I have left in this one, so that's super positive. Um, they're very sheer, there's no scent to them. Uh, I do have, I think I have four different, um, shades. So that's what that looks like. And I don't swipe it once across my lips. I like to have a little bit of color left on my lips, so I swipe it like five times. So that's like five times swatched on my hand. But it's really pretty. It's going to be nice for spring. I'm really excited to get through these products and get them out of my collection. So if you're doing Project Pan, let me know down below. We can go on this torturous adventure together and clean out some of our items that we want to clean up. So thank you for watching and have a nice day.